Good morning, y'all. So, um, I just got off stage. Um, I did like a two hour presentation. And, uh, you know, I pray to God that it went well. I gave it my best. Hold on one second. One second. Let me watch this out. Make some more tea. Um, so I just got off stage, you guys. Um, I think I did about an hour and a half, two hour section. Phenomenal, talking about leadership. Um, and to be honest, it's crazy because, um, you know, I was talking to somebody recently about, you know, sharing your story on stage. And they, they asked the question, like, why do you get nervous? And they were like, why get nervous when you're sharing about what you do anyways? And, you know, I don't know. I mean, everybody has their, like, opinion or their style of how they you know, do their business and, you know, how they live their life. And I think for me, just to be transparent with you guys, you know, with all the personal development, with all the like focus on growth and who I am as a man and, who, and what I'm doing, you know, I still find myself getting nervous. You know, and I think it's, you know, because of if I had to like break it down, I, I don't think it has to be like, I wouldn't say that I don't feel like I'm worthy. Um, but sometimes I do feel like, are you serious? Like, this is my life. And I have an opportunity to just to share what I did, like sharing what I did. And I wonder sometimes is like how it's so valuable. And then when you break that down, like when you get to the root of your value, you know, and then I think the biggest thing is regardless of your situation or your circumstances or your financial situation, a lot of people have some of the common traits that are very similar to each other. Like, you know, fear as one of them, like fear stopping a lot of us. From going after our own goals and our dreams, fear stopping us from being who that we who we can be in life, regardless of your, you know, your job or being an entrepreneur or, or whatever it is. Fear does kill a lot of people's dreams, and people find value in other people that overcame their fears and created success. When so many people give up on their fears, so when you, I think it breaks down to like your value. Creating more value in the marketplace allows your story to be more important to other people. And the biggest distractor um, or the biggest thing that stops people is their fear. So um, if I had to break it down, if you guys are going after something in your life or like whatever it is, if you're starting your own clothing line or, you know, you're becoming an entrepreneur or, you know, even if you're a part of Herbalife, I think you become more valuable when you overcome your challenges and you overcome fear. Not saying that you won't be afraid or that you won't be scared or not that you, you know, you still won't like go into a room and be like, oh man, are you serious? This is about to go down. But um, when you overcome fear, you do become more valuable. Let me warm this tea up real quick. So I talked about leadership today. Um, and then I went to like some really core values when it comes to leadership. Um, and before I went into my section, I asked a very simple question and the question was, what do you want? You know, and I realized that a lot of people, even if they're like, I want to be successful or I want to make a lot of money or, you know, I want to be somebody of influence. A lot of people aren't clear about what they want. And, you know, even me, I was one of those people that wasn't really clear about what you want. Like in the beginning, I was clear because I was sleeping on the floor, so I didn't want to have to sleep on the floor. I was clear because I was riding a bicycle and I didn't have a car and I wanted to be able to have a car. I wanted to be able to go into a restaurant and order what I wanted to be able to order and not lie to my friends and say that I just ate. And what I realized is as the success came, um, of course, my goals changed and they became bigger. But once you start to achieve things that are even bigger than what you imagined, it's hard sometimes to allow your dreams to grow even bigger. So I don't know if that makes any sense. Like if that's if you guys are following me and that makes sense, please give me a thumbs up. So in the beginning, it was easy for me to create this drive and this dedication. And I was excited and it was like, OK, I want to do this and I want to do that. And it was easy for me to overcome like things like, oh, this is what I want from life. Like, I don't want to have to ride a bicycle for the rest of my life. I hated walking into a room feeling less than as a man. Um, I hated you know, going into a restaurant and be like, hey, can I get some barbecue sauce? This is going to sound crazy. Like, can I get some barbecue sauce? And they'd be like, oh, it's an extra 50 cents. And I would say, ah, oh, no, I don't really want it. Knowing that I want the barbecue sauce, but I don't have the money to be able to afford an extra 50 cents. I hated that. Like, 
You know what I mean? Like those little, it's like really small things for me that drove me. And when you're sleeping on the floor, it's easy to get up in the morning. You guys, like I want to talk to you guys a little bit about success. Like when some of you guys right now, I know you're grinding and you're going after your goals and your dreams and you're excited. But let's talk about once you achieve those goals and those dreams. The biggest mistake that a lot of successful people do is they stop dreaming and they stop having bigger goals. Um, and they limit their personal development and who they are. Meaning, once they achieve the money, they get the house, they get the cars, they get to travel, right? They get those things. They stop thinking that growth is necessary. And what happens is, even if your check is big, right? Even if you're making a lot of money, your check will catch you. All right? I'm going to say that again. Like, your check will meet you where you're at. So, if you stop growing, your check's going to stop growing. And sometimes, you kind of go backwards. So, I would just challenge you guys, like, make sure... You know, it's it's easy to grind now, like when you don't have much, but like don't forget to have that same burning desire when the success comes. Like, you know, if you're, you know, like one of my friends that's on here, she's an amazing singer. Like, let's say one day she gets to the place where, you know, she's just, she's singing with Beyonce or even past it. It's like, don't forget to have the same burning desire. And that's why somebody that is like, you know, uh, like uh, Tony Robbins, I was talking to a really successful friend of mine today. He was saying Tony Robbins, one of Tony Robbins' goals sometimes is every year to feed more families. And imagine having that kind of desire. Like I need to feed more families and help them achieve what they want in life. So um, I was talking to people about success and leadership today and hopefully inspiring them to go get up in the morning and go after their goals and dreams, but for what they want and not just for a pen level. Um, and I realized like the lack mindset, you got a lot of people in Herbalife, like they start to have success and they create this lack mindset and they create competition with people that don't even want to have competition with them. And all of a sudden, and instead of focusing on their purpose and who they are as individuals and helping their family and changing future generations, they create this competition inside of the company that never existed. Like they all of a sudden they become obsessed with other people instead of obsessed with the mission. So I would challenge you guys, like whatever it is that you guys want in life, become obsessed with the mission and your core values and future generations of what you want versus becoming obsessed with other people that you may not like or you may you may like, but you become so obsessed with them that all of a sudden you go from admiration to competition when and instead of saying, bro, you inspire me. You say, ah, but he does this or she does that or they said this and they said that. No, be inspired. Get your butt up and move. There's no lack. And I realize a lot of people in Herbalife and a lot of people that become very successful um, inside of life, um, they create this lack mindset to where instead of collaboration, there becomes competition. And there is no such thing as competition because there is no such thing as lack. And when you focus and you remember that, listen. I'm so grateful. Like, I don't know if you guys saw, if you go back to my page and you look at, on break, nice to see you and listen to you. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Um, if you guys saw this room that they gave me, are you kidding me? Like, I was a waiter six years ago, riding a freaking bicycle, sleeping on the floor at these events. I would go to the Herbalife events some days, you guys, and I wouldn't eat those days because I spent the last bit of money I could to get into the training. And... I got a room right now that has three or four rooms and I only need one bed. And when you think about that, like how does that happen for somebody? It happens because they become valuable. And instead of thinking of competition or lack, I think, I think of life like there's abundance, right? Um, just the other day, I had somebody steal one of my clients. I know this sounds crazy, but I just want to tell you guys the real deal. So they, they, I had this guy on products and some other person signed them up um, to become a distributor. And the point is, it's not about even being focused on the person that took, right? Because the reality is, there's so many people that need help. And too many people get caught up in this rat race of competition and or lack, like there's not enough. And, and instead of thinking of life like there's an abundance, like there's whatever is yours is yours. I, I don't know exactly the verse, but I, I remember one of my friends told me one day, he was like, look, whatever God has for you is already yours. You just have to do the work to be able to achieve it. So if success is something that's supposed to be a part of your life and the abundance is supposed to be a stay on track, regardless of what people do or their situation or their surroundings, like 
you know, I, I'm in a lot of environments like where people are like, oh, did you hear what this person said about you behind your back, Stower? And this person said, and this person said, and then you see the person and they smile, right? And you just shake their hand. The reality is it's not about even acknowledging the fact that they said something behind your back because your mind, your thought, your ability, your creation, your capability is so much greater than dealing with or even solving that person's issue that they have with you. So and instead of trying to fix what people say about you or instead of trying to um, waste energy on trying to make everybody like you, how about how about you go out and actually change the world? And in the process of changing the world, people will respect you so much more than the person that talks behind your back. And here's the craziest thing about that. Those people that talk behind your back to other people, those people might enjoy the conversations while they're happening, but they'll never trust those people because they know if they'll talk behind your back, they'll do the same about them. So don't worry. Don't stress. Don't try to please everybody. Get very clear about your circumstances and get very clear about where you're going. Put more energy. I promise you this, your haters are watching you. Like I know people that don't like me and it's like, eh, then why are you on my page every day, right? I never even think about you. My focus is solely on where I'm going, what I'm gonna do. The only time it comes is when somebody brings your name up. So stay clear, you guys. And instead of trying to please the world and instead of trying to like please your family, like even sometimes with your family, like I heard, uh, Gary Vanderchuk one day, he said, sometimes you're going to have to call your mom and tell your mom, F you. Now, that's a little drastic, but I think the whole mindset behind that is sometimes you've got to tell people that you love, even that you love, like, listen, I love you, but you're stopping me from my goals and my dreams. And some of those people may not be people that you don't know. It may not be people that don't really like you. It may be people that you really love. So just get really clear about what you want and don't be distracted, even if it's somebody that you actually love. You know, it's easy to say this about a stranger or it's easy to say this about somebody that doesn't care about you. I'm about to drink my herbal IT warm, so I'm trying to see if it cools off for a second. I got my tablets. It's lunchtime. It's not about telling people what to do. It's about living it, baby. Let's get it. Hold on. Oh, <laughs> So it's easy to talk about people that are not related to you or people that, you know, you may have like some sort of like, um, uh, what's the word when somebody's not your friend? Like, what do people call it? Uh, associate, like some of your associates. But what about people that you actually do love? And that is something that you guys, um, if you decide really want to work on those areas, this is very, very, very important. Like, let me read this quick. How did you just take all those at the same time? <laughs> Bosses tell you what to do. Leaders inspire you. Okay, blessing. So um, I just, I mean, I've been doing Herbalife for six years, so you kind of get used to it. But here's what I would tell you. Very important to understand. It's easy sometimes to uh, think that what people say about you is very important and it can distract you from your goals and your dreams and what you want to achieve. So, and sometimes people that are your associates may talk behind your back and it could slow you down from where your goals and your dreams are. But also it slows them down subconsciously because instead of focusing on where they're going, they're putting time, energy, and effort to your life and where you're going and trying to convince other people that you're not a good person, which in turn hurts them because nobody's gonna trust those people that talk behind other people's back, all right? So, Going that back to that, that's great. Now, how about the part where it's your family and loved ones? So this is very, this can be very challenging for some people where you gotta be able to handle your family and loved ones saying things behind, about you because you gotta, you love those people and you trust those people. It's different from an associate, but this is where vision becomes very important. So when I said to you earlier on this, what do you want? Get clear about what you want because once you know what you want, like I remember one time, I went on a date, right? Um, and it was her turn to pay. This is gonna sound crazy, right? We went to uh, Benihana's, right? And you know at Benihana's when they sit you down, they sent you at a, a section with a whole bunch of other people and at Benihana's it was her turn to pay. But I'm sitting at this table with all these other men and they're talking to her and all I can think about the whole entire time is when the bill comes, 
she's going to grab the bill and it's going to make me look like I'm not a man. Right? And I was like, oh my God. So the whole time we're ordering, everybody's talking to each other and they're like, what do you do? And I had just started in Herbalife, so I really hadn't created anything yet. And they're like, what are you doing? I'm like, oh, I'm a health coach. I help people get their nutrition, their fitness, their mindset and change their life in a better direction. Um, that's what I do. And they're like, okay, great. And so the bill comes, you guys, check this out. The bill comes. I know for a fact I cannot afford this bill. But I am like so, like, I don't want to seem like less than as a man. This is something that was important to me. I know some guys don't care to let the girls pay, whatever. I'm not saying that men have to pay. Let me make that very clear because, you know, there's certain situations where life is what it is, right? But the bill comes and I'm like, I got to grab the bill. So I grab the bill. I put my card in there. She's looking at me like, what? You ain't got no money. I'm looking like, oh my God. So I literally, I start praying. So the the, the waiter takes the bill and I'm pr like, not like praying where everybody can see me, but in my head, I'm like, God, please just let this card go through. Man. So the, the waiter comes back and it's like in slow motion. And I'm like, the waiter's walking like this with the bill. Not really. But in my head, he's in slow motion. I'm like, oh my God. And then I'm waiting for him. It was a, actually, it was a lady. I'm waiting for her to hand it to me and be like, declined. And she hands this to me and says nothing. And I'm like, yes, like, oh my God, it worked, the bill. And we get in the car and she's like, what are you doing? Like, why did you pay the bill? And I'm like, listen, don't worry about it. I just wanted to treat you. But really the, the true subject is, you guys, I was just tired of not feeling like a freaking man. I was tired of feeling less than. I was tired of walking into the room and seeing other people and being like, damn, like I'm riding a bicycle. Damn, I'm sleeping on the couch. Like, what am I doing with my life? And I want more. So when I found what I found, which for me was Herbalife, it showed me that there was more available to me in my life. And I, and I knew that it was a vehicle for me to be able to be who I am today. It wasn't like I was born to do this, but it was a vehicle for me to be able to be who I can be today. Like it makes no sense that I'm, you know, the guest speaker right now um, out here. They fly you out here in first class and, you know, they put you up in this room. It makes no sense that I have created this when I barely graduated high school, you guys. Um, Yes, I had a lot of drive and a lot of ambition. So I found something that allowed me to be who I can be. And inside of being who I can be, I stay true to who I am regardless of what people say about me behind my back. And that is the reason why it's so important because check it out. It's about your happiness and not trying to make everybody else happy in the world. And in the process, those who truly love you, truly love you, not love you because they need you, truly love you, will be happier because you're happier. And when you think about that, it's priceless. So don't waste time trying to make everybody happy. Get clear about what you want. Get clear about what you want and know why you're doing what you're doing. And the moment you know why you're doing what you're doing, it makes the work worth it. If you're just waking up and you're going through the motions with no purpose, life becomes very freaking difficult. Right. Because you're just going through those same motions, the same rat race as every single person out there in the world. Now, I'm not claiming to know everything. Let me make that very clear. I'm not claiming to know that. I'm not claiming even to be the best mentor or sponsor or leader. I see a lot of areas in my life where growth is necessary. Right. It is necessary. I like having a team. Let me tell you why I like having a team, because I got people on my team, which is the Get Uncomfortable Squad. I got people on my team that are greater than me. They're better than me in certain areas, and because of them, I am a better man. That fires me the hell up. So I love talking to people and inviting them to be a part of my organization because I know that there's something that they have that I can learn from. And sometimes people disassociate themselves from needing to learn. And always being a student for me is very, very, very important. Always being a student. So. I'm grateful. I welcome those who are on my Instagram or around the world that I'll meet. You want to be a part of my organization? Let's go. I'll teach you everything that I know, but I'm also expecting for you to teach me the things that you know. And inside of that, we create this amazing bond, right? My team is like this. We're solid. This is a rock. This is where we're about. People come into the organization to penetrate your organization like some of the haters have done, right? So they can gain access to that family when all they had to do is instead of thinking of lack, think of as an abundance and they can create their own access in their own family because there's no lack. There's nothing that's stopping them from being at their being besides the fact they don't believe. Now, belief comes a part of the question. 
some people don't believe in themselves enough. And when you don't believe in yourselves enough, your actions become in alignment with disbelief. And your faith is so little that you think that there's lack. And because there's lack, creates competition. So I challenge you guys to believe in yourself first. Because with all the secrets to success in the world, it won't mean crap if you don't have belief in yourself. And remember that I'm very clear that I don't know it all. I'm very clear that I need to improve, which keeps me hungry and it keeps me excited and it keeps me driven and it keeps me working on myself and it keeps me fired up. It keeps me working out, drinking my shakes, drinking my tea every day, talking to people. People laugh in my face, y'all. They laugh in my face. I had a girl just like the other dinner a couple of days. I hate herbal life. I'm this, I'm that. Like it's this. And I'm, I'm sitting there and I'm like, I just smile. I'm like, you laughed in my face. Like that's crazy. Right? When you have no idea the lives that have been changed because of the dedication, because of the hard work and the early mornings and the late nights, what are you doing in your life? How many people have you actually helped besides just talking about what everybody else is doing? So when people laugh in your face, just get clear about what you want. And because I know what I want, listen to me, because I know what I want, I'm not distracted by those who don't like me. I'm not distracted by those um, who don't believe in my goals and my dreams. And I'm not distracted by my own freaking fears because I have them. You understand what I'm saying? So um, now there is no competition besides with yourself. Ah, fire me up. This is one of the cups they gave me when I got here. Check this cup out. Yo, phenomenal, man. I got, I got this big old, I'm about to eat it, some more fruit. I got this big old thing of fruit here. I'm like, I got to eat this because they got it for me. Snacks and everything. So um, anyways, that's what I wanted to be able to share with you guys today. Um, uh, I hope you guys go to the stories. Check this room out. It's crazy. I just got done speaking for two hours. We got this amazing dinner tonight. Um, tomorrow, I'm going to be speaking again in the morning for another two hours. I think I got two sections tomorrow um, just to share with people about the opportunity um, to move their life forward. Um, and I'm just so grateful to God that has given me this platform to be able to speak life into people. And I can't imagine doing anything else in my life. Like it's given me so much um, um, chances and opportunities to meet people from around the world and learn from them. And in and, and, and learning them, ah, they be, I became a better person and a better man myself. So not only am I the guest speaker, I'm also a student this weekend. Um, and I'm just grateful to God. Um, listen to me, you guys, like whatever you believe in, promise me something that you'll have faith at whatever it is that you believe in. Um, because inside of that, when you're in really, really, really tough times and there is no cars and there is no house and there is no place and there is no view of the ocean, like I'm listening to the ocean right now as I'm talking to you guys, then the faith is the one thing that motivates you. Faith is the one thing that inspires you. Faith, blind faith is the things that get you up in the morning when there is nobody there cheering you on. You don't have an organization. So if you guys are looking for tips, my, my, my tip is, number one, be, be consistent. Number two is be persistent. Number three is be patient, right? And number three is commit to your commitments even when you don't feel like it. Or that's number four, sorry. Commit to your commitments even when you don't feel like it. It's easy to say you're gonna get up in the morning at five in the morning and run three miles and drink your shake and do your personal development. But what do you do when your knees hurt and your body hurts and your back hurts? You gotta push yourself to the limit because it's inside of pushing yourself is when the growth happens. So once again, y'all, it's your boy. Style. I'm pumped. I'm fired up. I'm grateful to God for this opportunity. Um, if there's something that you guys heard, please go to my last post. Please, I promise you guys, I read your comments sometimes. I said sometimes because sometimes I'm traveling. It's very difficult. Um, I read your comments, and I'm I'm grateful that you guys are finding you know some things that help you move your life forward. Um, if you guys can go to my last post and just say something that you gained from this live video, it would mean the world to me. Um, and, you know, keep me in your prayers because even the motivator needs a motivator sometimes. Um, so thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you um, for supporting me um, in this journey. You know, and thank you for your your high fives and thank you for your great jobs and thank you for your support because, you know, those those messages mean the world. You know, so thank you guys. Um, and let's keep getting it. Remember, you are blessed and you are unstoppable. It's your boy style. Peace.